Hello everyone, happy Wednesday. Welcome to our banded core workout. It's about 30 minute workout. We're gonna do some core using a mini band if you have it and a regular tube band if you do have it. I can offer modifications if you don't have those. Okay, let's get you going here on live. And it's Wednesday, it's crazy. All right, all right. Welcome guys, welcome. All right, so you can hear the music, all right. So again, core, okay? It's gonna do some fun things, work on some rotational core exercises, something new that maybe you've never tried before. So you can always add it into your routine if you want to, at home. Hi, dog. My dog is here again with us, as always. Let's see if I can, watch this, right? Bring a little grogue here. Oh yeah, there she is. <laughs> There you go. There you have it. There's my dog. He's always been here. She watches us all the time. Alrighty. You ready? So good 30 minute workout here. Work the core and then if you want to stay on, you can, um, I'm going to sign off or I'm going to close out this video, come back on and we're going to do a little bit of mo a mobility work. Okay. It's about 30 minutes of mobility uh, and then we'll get going. Alright. Sound good Dakota? Okay guys. Let's get started. A little warm up here, enough. nothing too crazy. We're just gonna do some trunk rotations. So as we're doing this, you're standing tall, okay? You're engaging those obliques, right? So as we're twisting, those obliques, side part of your torso. All right, keep those arms tucked in, side to side. And we're just kind of getting some rotation. Work the back a little bit. We're gonna get that work today a little bit. So let's add a little side reach, right? We'll come around, reach the arm as you're rotating, okay? So again, reach that arm across, still getting that rotation, and kind of just getting that torso going. Awesome. All right, we're gonna reach over above our head, all right? So side to side, all right? Reaching over, kind of feeling that stretch on the outside. Good. Again, take your time here. You can go as fast or as slow as you want. Don't want to go too fast. All right. Shout out to my mom for this nice shirt. She gave me this shirt. <laughs> it's really comfy. It's really light. I like it. I like it. All right, guys, when you're with me, arms up overhead. You're going to come in, knee crunch. Okay? So, we'll standing knee crunch. Again, drive that upper body up and then down, and then you drive the knee right up. Make sure you're stabilizing with that leg that's down, right? Again, you feel that core work. Again, just getting those arms warmed up a little bit. Breathe here. Nice. Jump a few more reps. And we're gonna go to the ground here. Awesome. All right, you ready? We're gonna inchworm out, okay? So you're going to turn out to a nice high plank position, right? We're going to stay here. I want your hands grounded into the floor. I want your core braced nice and tight, right? Keep the butt nice and tight as well. Holding here. Good. Activation here. A little isometric activation. Good. Now let's drop those knees down, right? We're going to do our cat cows. So you're going to arch that back. Look up. And then you're rounding, pushing your stomach towards your spine. Again, a good warm up here. So breathe here as you're doing these movements. And we're arch that back, nice and controlled. And then round. Do two more. All right, wherever you're at, two more reps. Good, then you're gonna come back into that high plank position and hold. All right, one last little activation here of that core. Focus on the spot on the ground. Keep that body nice and still. Breathe. Nice. All right, let's walk those hands back up towards those feet. Stand up nice and tall. Keep those arms overhead. Let's do one last side bend. All right, so bend to the side. Get that nice stretch. Come back to the center. And then the same thing on the other side. All right? Good. All right, awesome. Let's relax. All right, so again, if you're feeling loose or tight or tight in anything, any other area of your body, feel free to stretch. What we got today. All right, 45 seconds of each exercise, two rounds through, okay? So I have my 
my timer here, stole my mom's iPad again. So again, thank you mom for sponsoring this workout, both clothing wise and equipment wise. I appreciate it. <laughs> um, so 45 seconds, all right? We'll have a little 15 second transition break for me to kind of show what that next exercise is and then we'll move on, okay? So we're gonna use a mini band, we're gonna use a regular band and go from there, all right? First exercise, pick one side here. You're gonna place that band on the ground all right, and you're gonna step on it with your foot. So I'm gonna step on it with my right foot, okay? I'm holding that um, handle, all right, with both hands. Legs, a little bit wider than shoulder width, okay, wider than those hips. We're gonna do some wood choppers. So you're gonna come down to the outside part of that knee, all right, outside of that hip, and then you're rotating up, all right? So I really want you to focus on keeping that tension on the band. So even as you come down, you're still keeping it out and around. So a little rotation here. Slight bend in those legs as you come down. Working on twisting, rotating, okay? So pick a side that you wanna start with. We have 45 seconds, all right? You're placing your foot here on that band again. You can adjust. The further your foot is away from that handle, the more, the less, or the more lack you're gonna get, slack in that band, so it's gonna be a little bit easier. So adjust as you need. We're gonna do two rounds though, all right? So you have always, always the time to adjust. All right, you ready? 45 seconds. Here we go. All right, so again, spacing forward, coming down, and then out, kind of above that shoulder. Keep those arms extended, slight bend in those legs. Again, as you keep those arms out, right? We're not bringing them in. We're keeping that tension on that band the whole entire time. Rotate, breathe. You feeling it? You should be feeling it right in here, right? Right those obliques. You got about 12 seconds left, all right? On this side. Again, keep that core tight. Speed is not really what we're focusing on. We're focusing on that core tension. And relax. All right, we're gonna go to the other side now, okay? So flip it on over. All right, it's your other foot. My left foot is gonna be st stepping on that band. Again, arms down. Keep those hips square, arms out. You ready? Here we go. You also might find that one side is a little easier than the other. All right, so come down, rotate around. Again, you're feeling it in your core, your obliques right here on this side. All right, so come across. Come on, breathe here. In through your nose, out through your mouth. Get that rotation, all right? Core is tight. Nice. Let that core drive the movement, right? Your arms are out, all right? So you're gonna feel those shoulders, but that core is what's driving you around. Good, yeah, five more seconds. We're gonna grab that mini band next. Good, and relax. Great job, guys. Grab that mini band, preferably a lighter one, okay? You're gonna put it around your toes here, around that middle of that foot, all right? All right, so we're gonna do a little oblique crunch. Hands are gonna be behind your head, okay? You're not pulling on your head or pushing your head forward in any way. Hands just behind here. All you're doing is you're bringing your knee up and then kind of crunching down to the side, meeting your elbow to your knee in the center. All right, so a little oblique crunch. Modification, you can also just keep the band on one side of your body, okay, and holding it. And then all you're, do all you're doing is just dipping down to the side. So that's mom pinch if you need to, okay? So, 45 seconds. You ready? Put that band around, and let's get started, okay? So, again, here, crunching out. So still standing tall, right? Those are doing this. We're not folding over, right? We're tall, crunch that knee up, pull against that band, Kind of rotating that torso. Good job. We're about halfway here, right? Whoop, going the wrong way. Stabilizing with that other leg. Nice. How are these feeling? Right here. That's what we're feeling, right? Remember, don't pull in that head, that head, there with that neck. Alright? Use the core, crunch, and relax. Nice job. Alright, on the ground, you're gonna keep that mini band where it is around your feet. Okay, we got some dead bugs. Your goal here in this set, or this movement, 
to keep that lower back glued to the floor. Okay? So look like this. Hands are up. Coming down, opposite arm with opposite leg. Alright? So you're going to keep one leg bent at 90 degrees. You're going to push against that band to create that resistance. Low back is glued to the ground. Okay? The dead bugs. You ready? 45. Here we go. Alright? You can always use a thicker band next time if you want to. Alright? So again, take your time. Lower all the way down as far as you can go. Breathe. Press that core. Keep that low back glued in. Alright? Come on. I'm feeling it here. Alright? Come down. Back in the center. Good. Very nice. You have 15 more seconds. Alright? So that resistance, right? That's right here. It's going to really keep that... It's going to really challenge that core, right? To keep steady. If you have five seconds. Alright? Good. And relax. Nice job. Alright, round two. We are back up. Okay? We're going to do those wood choppers again. So, pick your side. Alright? So again, you can always adjust if you need to. Remember, band is on the ground. You're stepping on it with that one foot. Remember, hands are out. Coming down and rotating across. You ready? And here we go. All right, so again, slight bend in those legs as you come down. Extend as you rotate up. All right, keep those arms out. Breathe, nice and controlled. You guys are doing awesome. All right, who's feeling this in their core? I'm feeling it. Again, really keep that core going the whole time. All right, try not to re let, it, let it relax. I can talk here. Good. Again, that core is so much more, right, than just in the front. That rotation is going to work the back. You've got hips. All right, it's all connected. This is great functional core work here that will help you in your everyday life. Good. A few more. And relax. Nice. All right, last time on this side, or the other side. So again, step on, remember the further or the closer your foot is to the um, end of the band, the harder it's gonna be. All right, hip square, you ready? Arms out, here we go. All right, so breathe deep, rotate down and around to outside of that leg, to up above that shoulder. Nice. Yeah, it's a great thing to add to uh, end of your workout. Great thing to add to the workout. Halfway, all right? And we get a little bonus shoulder work while we're at it. I mean, why not? All right, 15 seconds, guys. Keep working. Good. Twist and rotate. Nice, you got those oblique crunches coming up. Good. And relax, nice. All righty, set that band aside, okay? So remember, this one, band around the toes, okay? Little side crunch, okay? So you're gonna have your hands behind your head, bringing that knee to that elbow. Ready? Here we go. All right, so still standing tall. You're just bending at the torso as you bring those legs in. Remember, your goal, focus. Feel right here in those obliques, okay? Again, if you can only go this far, that's fine, okay? Go wherever you can. All right, everyone's gonna be a little different. If not, again, you can be right here, about halfway, like I said, so you're gonna switch sides if you're doing this bend, all right, this side bend. All right, if not, you're continuing with those side bends here for five more seconds. And the other dead bugs. Good, and relax. All right, guys, keep that band around your toes, all right? Find your way to the ground. If you want to increase that resistance in the band, go for it. Remember, dead bugs around the toes. All right, lowering that leg. Remember, opposite arm, opposite leg. Kicking down, stabilizing right here with that core, pressing that lower back into the floor. You ready? Here we go. All right, so kicking out. Keep those toes flexed. Breathe. Again, if you can't lower all the way down, and if that back comes up, only go to as far as you can to keep that low back on the ground. 
in this first, or this, uh, this second set here, first round. Woo, and relax. Oh my goodness. Alrighty, so you're gonna grab that band again. The uh, tube one, you have it, okay? You're gonna step on the band, right? You're gonna hold. So again, if the further out your feet are, the more tension you're gonna have. So again, adjust as you need to, okay? Handles together, arms out, we're gonna twist. Come back to center, other side, all right? So a little from the side here, keep those arms out, side, center, other side, okay? So it's, again, bracing that core, because that band, because that tension, right, it's gonna wanna pull those arms down and pull you down. So standing tall, side to side, all right? If you're not comfortable with that, just do one, okay? At a time, or just do one handle, all right? That's a little less resistance. So, 45 seconds, you ready? And here we go. So again, keep those arms up, rotate side to side. And you're holding, use that core to twist, all right? Keep it braced, keep those arms up. Remember, if you need to take a break, come up here with one side to side, all right? It's always okay. Remember, time under tension. So, keep that core tight. Always reset in the center. All right, whatever resistance you need. We got five more seconds. Good. And relax, awesome job. All right, we're back to those leg lowers. Remember those from the beginning? You're still gonna grab this band. You're gonna put that handle right around each of your feet. Okay, and we're going to create that tension with those arms, keep those shoulder blades off the ground as you lower those legs down to the ground. You ready? Oh yes, it's going good. Round two, here we go. Guys, we're crushing it. Something different, right? I'm finding this a pretty good workout. I'm sweaty. Again, try to keep the shoulder blades on the ground, off the ground. All right. Little hollow position, nice and controlled. Again, you can always do one leg at a time if you're a little more, if you want it, that's a little more comfortable for you. It's a little bit easier just doing one leg, okay? Up to you, or you're doing two legs at a time. Remember, lower back is glued, core is tight, come on. Breathe here. You guys have a rock solid abs after this class. <laughs> Good job, we got five more seconds. Five more seconds, Dakota, and relax. Nice job. All right, we got those planks. All right, so bands gonna be around your feet. All right, and we have the plank taps with those knee drives in. Okay, keep that band nice and thick here. Cross your feet. I gotta fix mine here. A little extra break for you guys. All right, you ready? So find that good high plank position. All right, leg taps. Here we go. So you got side, side, drive in, drive in. Okay, so remember, as wide as you can, keep the toes flexed, care to keep that band on as much as you can. Get adjust if you need to. Good, push in. Remember, shoulders over those hands. Press those fingertips into the ground, right? That'll help take off that pressure of those wrists. All right. Nice. You guys are crushing it. Our second time last time. You got 10 more seconds. Good. Five, three, two, one, and relax. All right, bicycles, so we're staying down here. Flip on over, okay? Put that band right around. It was uh, that mid foot there. All right, remember we're rotating, twisting into that bicycle crunch. Ready? Here we go. Shoulder blades off the ground. Rotate. Breathe out here as you're twisting. Good, remember, hands are just behind that head. All right, for some support. Good job. Ooh, yeah. Kick that leg down, all right? Just gonna keep that core working. Yeah, I feel the burn. Love it. Nice. 
Here we go, guys. Come on. You got this. Dig deep. You have five more seconds, all right? Get those reps in. Good. And relax. All right. Last time, we have this standing twist, okay? So you're going to grab that other band here that we got. Um, all right. Standing here. Pause this. Remember, hands together, all right? You can hold both handles at one time or just one, all right? We're twisting side to side, ready? And let's go. So come up here, side and side. Try to keep those arms parallel to the ground. All right, you're rotating that torso. Try to keep everything else pretty square, all right? Ooh, yeah, feeling it. <laughs> Good a shoulder workout too. Feeling those arms. <laughs> oh man. Again, if you feel like you're straining too much, all right, I want you to drop. Alright? I want to keep want to make sure that you're standing up nice and tall. Alright, five more seconds. And relax. Alright, nice job. Okay. Grab some water. Alright. Oh, alright, dog. Coda's uh, dog's ready, uh, ready to go. She's up and moving. All right, get some water. How are we feeling? Doing good. All righty, so we're gonna start. We have two exercises this round, all right? It's about four minutes left or so. Or, yeah, one, two, three, four. Yeah, I can do it. I, uh, I can count. Okay, you're gonna start, <laughs> you're gonna start the mini band, all right? On the ground, we got a little uh, abduction of those hips. As to do a little hollow hold. So I'll kind of show what that means. A lot of words, a lot of words. Let me demonstrate. So, band is gonna be, all right, right above those ankles, okay? You're gonna lay flat on the ground and you're kicking out against that band, okay? So from here, you can see that, all right? It's coming out just like this, nice and controlled. Again, hovering those legs as far or off the ground as you need to. So the higher your legs are gonna be, the easier it's gonna be, okay? So 45 seconds, you ready? Find that band, put it right around the legs, and oh my gosh, it's getting stuck. Let's get started, here we go. <laughs> oh, my shoe's inside. Again, pulsing here. So again, the lower your legs are, the harder it's gonna be, right? So adjust as you need. All right, you can rest your head down if you want to. I think it's more comfortable. I like to have my head up. All right, so again, tiny little kicks out here. Work the, that hip strength a little bit, all right? So you're firing those hips. Good, core is braced. All right, if you're pressing on here, you're feeling it work. It should be hard, all right? Or relatively hard. <laughs> Could we have 10 more seconds? Yes, nice job. Good, almost there for three, two, one, and relax. Oh my gosh. Let me tell you, I don't know if it was from yesterday's class or what, but my like, like right here, my hips were so sore today. I was like, oh my gosh, yikes. Alrighty, grab this big band for me, okay? Side plank here, all right? You're gonna put the band or the handle through the leg that's on top. Okay, so if I'm laying on my, I'm trying to, well, it's my left side, okay? <laughs> left side, handle is on my right foot, okay? Up in the side plank, you're gonna pull on the band, all right? Some resistance. All you're doing is tapping forward and backwards, okay? Front and back, all right? We're gonna do, we'll do about half on each side, okay? You ready? And here we go. So again, Modified side plank here. If you need to rest that leg on the ground, you're still gonna tap forward and backwards, all right? So that's your modification. If not, hips are up. Good. Pull that band with that arm. Tap over and behind that leg. Good. Three, two, one, and relax. We're gonna switch sides here. All right, so again, take a little transition time. All right, you ready? Side plank, other side. Ready? And here we go. Up, 
pull on some resistance, tap your foot on the side. Remember, you're keeping that body in a nice straight line. So my upper body is not pulling over. All right, I'm right in line with my uh, lower body. Good, almost there. And relax, nice job. Alrighty, we're back to the beginning. So remember, there's only two exercises this time. So, grab your mini band. Alrighty, back around the upper ankle area on your legs, okay? Alright, here, remember, we're laying on the ground, lower back is glued to the floor. We're doing our little abduction uh, kicks, little pulses, okay, for 45 seconds. You guys ready? And let's go. Again, if you need to, you can always rest those hands underneath your butt, alright? So again. You're kicking out, pulsing, work those hips a little bit. Lower back is on the ground. Breathe. Nice and controlled. Again, if you just need to hold at any point to take a break, or if you just need to take a break, take a break. You're holding as long as you can, okay? So challenge yourself here, though. All right, remember, that isometric contraction, right? Time under tension. We're not doing crunches, but we're still engaging that core and working it. Good, under 10, you're doing great. Nice, three, two, one. Oh man, relax, Woo. super tight. Good thing we're doing mobility after this, right? Stretch it out. All right, so side planks, you ready? Remember that foot that's on top is the one that is, um, the handles around that foot, okay? So remember, modify if you need to, you're tapping forward and backward. Ready? And, here we go. So up in that side plank, pulling some resistance here. Again, back and forth. Keeping that upper body, right? Right in line. Try to watch that elbow too. Elbows right underneath that shoulder. Nice job. Three, two, one, and relax. We're gonna slip on over to the other side. All right, last thing, guys. This is it. Okay, finish strong. And then uh, we will call it a day. All right, you ready? Set, let's begin. All right, so how do you like this? Something different? All right, I liked it. It's cool, different ways to challenge your body, right? Challenge that core. Good. Job. Almost there. Pulling that band. Good. Three, two, one, and relax. All right. Set that down. Nice job, guys. Let's just stretch out that core real quick. All right. Nice work. I well, hope you had fun. How about uh? Oh, hi, Uncle Larry. <laughs> How did that feel? <laughs> Something different, right? All right. Let's do this. Come on the ground. All right. Lower all the way down, and then we're just gonna press up into a little cobra. Just kind of stretch that core out a little bit. Okay, it's kind of stretching the front of our torso. Good, lower down. All right, same thing. Lifting up here, just a little bend in those arms, bending that back. Good, and let's just kind of go stretch out. So you're not gonna go fully into a, um, a child's pose. We're gonna keep that butt in the air. Arms forward, again, stretch out that back a little bit. Good. Breathe here. Nice, and let's just finish with those cat cows, right? Like we did in the beginning, it's just a great way to cool down. So you're gonna arch your back here, and then round your back, pressing your stomach towards your spine, and reset. Good, push up. And back down, nice. Let's do one more with me. Round your back and arch, nice. Alrighty, so that's it guys. 30 minutes banded core work, okay? I'm gonna sign off and I'm gonna come back on in a few minutes to get us going on um, some mobility and stretching, all right? Thanks for joining me. Hope you had fun. Again, it's going to be on YouTube later, so go for, feel free to check that out any other time. Share with your friends. 
And uh, yeah, have a great rest of your Wednesday if I don't see you uh, later. All right, bye guys.